Are you aware that in the last 20 years, there's not, we have not had a section on intelligent design or creationism? That's correct. What you are discussing now is whether you will teach the denigration of evolution, which is a longtime creationist strategy to promote creationism through the back door. Had there ever been any evidence of evolutionary fraud? Of course. Should we be allowed to teach that as, as examples of bad science? Certainly. Just Thank like you can teach uh, examples of political uh, chicanery. Thank you. <laughs> in the battle for rationality in America, especially in American education, my own subject of evolutionary biology is in the front line trench. And Dr. Scott is the commanding officer, the master strategist on our side, the general in charge of intelligence and strategic planning, as well as the field officer in charge of tactics and battle order. Yet she does it all with the most unmilitary grace and charm. It's impossible to meet Jeannie without loving her, whether you agree with her or not. Intelligent design makes the claim that there are things out there in nature that are just categorically unexplainable by natural cause. Therefore, they were created, designed by an intelligent agent, and nobody's fooled the intelligent agent is God. Now, how can you call that a science when your basic organizing principle is, we can't explain this through natural cause? What science does is explain things through natural cause. And the whole idea of intelligent design just completely flies in the face of that. When I heard that a Scot was being inducted into the IIG, I was very excited. I mean, all the times that you've saved the Enterprise and worked with Kirk and Bones, and it's just, it's really a fantastic. What? No. Oh, Jeannie Scott. Oh, even better. Oh my gosh, actually a real hero of mine. I've been at a number of conventions where Jeannie's talked and it's always been such a pleasure. So, uh, congratulations. It has been my great fortune and pleasure to have known Eugenie Scott for, I guess, about 10 years now. And I'm delighted that she's been awarded and given such uh, recognition for her work. Congratulations, Eugenie. I can't think of anyone that deserves to be inducted into a Hall of Honor more than you. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all of the work that you've done. Eugenie Scott, I named conjurer with, and I'm a conjurer, so I'm going to do that. Congratulations, and it's well deserved. Eugenie Scott uh, is just a wonderful, perfect person. She is, uh, even though she's well known and so on, I think she's still an unsung hero because she is my idol as a the right way of being a good skeptic. And a good uh, educator. I know that if NCSE hadn't been around lo these 20 years or so, the situation would be a lot worse. Because frankly, we are effective. Uh, the creationists will tell you that. This is the best job I've ever had. No question about it. I got the best job in the world. Come with me if you want to live.